Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. So today I want to show you how I edited this dewy look and maybe it can just give you tips and tricks to also help you edit a look like this. Now, this is a shoot I did some days ago and I'm still editing the behind the scenes so I can show you guys how you can shoot a dewy look. But um, whenever I do that video, I'll put it in the link in the description. So if you are watching this um, probably a week after I put out this video, then you can just click the link in the description to watch the video on how you can shoot a dewy look and how to light and shoot a dewy look. So yeah, now for this particular image this is the before so if i just reset this image so i just go to adjustments reset then you can see the straight out of the camera it's not really different from what i did by the way i shot this image using the canon eos r and the canon 100 mm f 2.8 l lens so those were the combination that i used for this now um right now all i did was just take my kelvin up to 5000 my 10 to minus 0 0.5 I dragged in my um my whites for my levels now you know very well when you are using your levels it's it just shows up like a histogram so you have your whites on the right and you have your blacks on the left right here then also my blacks i pulled it up so that i could just reveal some part of her hair i dragged my whites down a little bit pulled my shadows up and I pulled my highlights up too. Now, this is kind of subjective depending on the image you're working on. So this just worked for this image. So if you're working on another image that looks different from this, then what you're going to do in your raw processing software is also going to be different from what I did. So do not use these values exactly. You just have to mess around until you find something that works for you. So now this is the final image. So we took this image from here to here. As you guys can see, it's not like we did too much or it seems like we didn't do too much, even though it took a long time to edit this image. I'll probably say it took about two, two hours. Yeah. Also to get this image to, um, this point from here to here. So let's get into Photoshop and I'll show you guys, um, step by step how I made this happen. So right now what I'm going to do is just turn everything off and we'll start from the first one. So the first one was removing most of the blemishes from the skin. So if I zoom in here, I'm going to show you guys. So I removed a lot of the blemishes and from her nose, you guys can see the tiny um, hairs around her lips. You know, I removed a lot of that. Now this took a while. This took a, a significant amount of time because um, there was quite a lot to take out. Um, not because she does not have good skin, but because the image was really, or I was really close to her face. So it's a really close up image. So you have a lot more to work on when you work on close up images, you know. Now, that was the first thing I did. I used my basic frequency separation um, action to make this happen. By the way, you guys should definitely check out my retouching essentials pack if you do not have it. I would advise you actually go out and cop one because um, that's what I use to edit all my images, everything. I have 14 amazing actions and you can just use it to retouch better, use it to retouch faster. It's really amazing because that's what I really use. Once you get it, you really do not need to get any other thing or use any other thing to retouch except this action, especially if you are learning from my video. So definitely check out my retouching essentials pack. So I use my basic frequency separation action and I merged it together when I was done because I always create another frequency separation um, action later or I always run another frequency separation action later. So the first one I use, I always merge it together because all I use it for is just removing blemishes off my subject's skin, as you guys can see. So once again, here's the before and here's the after now after that i did my micro dodge and burn and i still use my action for this but you can just create your curves adjustment layer if you do not get those actions and use them so these are my values for my curves as you guys can see right there so what i did was just smoothing out her face using micro dodge and burn so you guys can see micro macro whichever one you want to call it so this is the before and this is the after. So I'm going to zoom out. This is the before and this is the after. So you guys can see better. So if I turn on my invert check layer, you guys can see the before. Look at how it looked. And this is the after. If you want the invert check layer, it comes standard with my um, retouching essentials pack. Okay, great. Now, after that, I did another 
micro dodge and burn and the reason was because um sometimes you kind of like run out of latitude with the first one and you need something else to be able to go into what i typically do is i use the first one as a general micro dodge and burn then the second one i kind of use it to go deep into you know like the tiny spots so if i zoom in here you guys can see i close a lot of like the tiny spots and right now zoomed in you probably can't see it as much but if i just look somewhere around her nose somewhere around this spot right here let me show you the before and after so that's the before look at those tiny spots around this these places and this is the after before and after you guys can see that i have taken a lot of that out so what this just does is that it helps smoothen out the image a little bit more so when you spend more time micro dodging and burning your image looks smoother but at the same time it looks really natural so after that what i did was that i merged everything into one layer so you can do that by holding command option shift and e and it gives you everything you've done it just puts it into one layer and the reason why i did that was because i want to create another frequency separation action now this time i created the advanced frequency separation um layers i uh, ran the action to create the advanced frequency separation layers and this consists of four layers instead of the two that come with the basic and that is so that if you make a mistake you do not have to create all the actions again or create all the layers i mean so you don't have to create all the layers again once you make a mistake you can just delete it at the low frequency or the high frequency separation um layer then just recreate that particular one so now what i did with this again was just smoothing out a couple places in her skin that if i wanted to use micro dodge and burn to do it would take a lot more time so um for my advanced frequency separation i typically use my mixer brush tool so if you do not know how to um do that just check out all the tutorials i've done on frequency separation i use the mixer brush tool in all of them and you would learn how to do that so you guys can see somewhere around her nose right here i just smoothened everything out you know her forehead it's really subtle and that's how i love using my frequency separation but it works so if you look around here around all these places let me show you guys the before and sorry this is the before and that's the after okay great now after doing that what i always do is just probably turn off all my layers and do micro dodge and burn because that way i can see the exact places that the highlights and the shadows are and you know i just love um global dodging and burning that way so that's what i did here i just did my global dodge and burn then created a levels adjustment layer pulled in my blacks pulled in my whites just to give you a little bit more contrast you guys can see that's a little bit more contrast then i have this action called even skin and what it does is that it just evens out the whole skin um it's part of my retouching essentials pack so i just use it all the time when i retouch it just evens out the whole skin makes everything look um it makes everything look really nice and it's just really milky and silky really like it okay great then after that i ran my eyes and teeth whitening action now you can get that for free I have it in my digital store just go download it for free and it is amazing i love it i use it all the time the amazing thing about it is that it just doesn't whiten out everything or make your eyes look pale or make your subject's eyes look pale it, it really works absolutely love it then i ran my color lookup now for color lookup what i did was use one of my prince mason skin tone lots um let me see the one i used i used the uh, number six so if you haven't got my skin tone lots definitely check it out i have for light skin tones and dark skin tones and they are amazing well according to reviews they are amazing and i absolutely love them and i use them all the time so i just use my color lookup to apply a lot one of my lots like i said i use the sl6 um skin tone lot six so definitely check that out in my um skin tone lots for dark skin tones yeah then um I use selective color just to adjust the color of the skin a little bit, you know, add some greens and some yellows to it to get to where I want it to be. Then after that, I change the color of the background. Now I know you guys might be able to see some, I don't know, um, I would, I just don't know what to call it, but it's kind of like some tiny variations at the back. The reason is because my advanced frequency separation is still on. If I merge it together, then it disappears. So yeah so after that i just changed the color of my background the way to go about this is just go to select 
color range and select the color of your background and you can just use your hue saturation adjustment layer to actually change the color of the background now i didn't like the fact that it was so cool wanted to add some warmth to it absolutely love it then i created a stamp visible layer right here and um, did a little bit of liquify so you just go to filter liquify and you can adjust you know the way you want and i just liquefied a little bit and after that um the last thing i did so after liquefying was to soften her skin now the skin looks really soft but i just wanted to take out the digital edge from her skin so i used my soft skin action i don't know if you guys can see before after before after so if you look somewhere around here you can see it before and after so that's what i did i just softened the skin because i wanted the image to look really soft because it looks sharp already you know you have all your lights in the right place you have micro dodge and burn you have global dodge and burn you have added contrast to your image so the image looks really sharp already it just looked too sharp for me even though we can still see the texture we can see everything it just had this digital sharpening that i did not like right and sorry this is this right here is the before and this is the after really wanted to take out the digital sharpening from the image and i did and i absolutely love how this image looks right now so let's see we're just going to zoom in right here let me show you guys this right here is the before and this is the after before after and I absolutely love how this image looks. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Wanted to show you guys how I retouched this beautiful image. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to the model so you guys can definitely check her out and just be expecting the behind the scenes. So I'll show you guys how you can actually light or photograph a dewy look. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said, do not forget to check out my digital store. You can get my skin tone lots. You can get my retouching essentials pack. At the end of the day, you don't need any of that to retouch. You can just check out all my tutorials on retouching and you will definitely, definitely get better at retouching. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you love this video and you want to see more content like this. And also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out, guys.